Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video I am going to be carrying out a replacement of the uh, engine mountings. Um, this is what they look like, they're, uh, they're oil filled and uh, over time they deteriorate uh, and they don't provide the same level of support that they do when the car is new. Now this car's done about 155,000 miles so it's getting on. They haven't been replaced um, in its life. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Um, the uh, the engine itself seems to rock a little bit, especially when starting and stopping the engine. So I suspect that it's uh, it's these that need replacing. So that's what we're going to do. Let's uh, let's get the car up in the air, get it on some stands, and have a look at what we're going to do. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Okay then, so we've got the car up on stands, it's nicely uh, nicely supported. First thing I want to do is get this plastic under tray off. A few bolts, uh, a few little 8mm bolts and a couple more at the back and then this tray um, will come out of the way and then we'll, uh, we'll have access to the whole uh, front axle effectively and then uh, we can have a look at uh, the engine mount. So I'll, get, I'll whip this off and then uh, I'll bring it back in. Okay, as you can see we now have the under tray off. Uh, and we can see the whole of the front axle. Now, what we're going to be replacing is this one here. And as you can see, one bolt and two bolt. That's what's holding it to the actual front cross beam. And then on the top, on the actual engine mounting arm, there's another bolt. And the same on this side for the other, the other engine mount. So one there, one there. So what we need to do first is crack the bolts off the bottom where they mount through the axle um, crack the nuts off on the top um, probably um, probably well certainly on this right side it'll be easier to get it from the top that one's going to be a little bit more of a, be a bit more of a stretch and it will probably be a pain but we'll get there in the end um, and then once we've done that what we'll have to try and do is lift the engine so that it comes off the mountings now what i'm going to do is uh, in the absence of my engine crane, as I've lent it to a friend of mine who's pulling an engine on his car, I will, um, using a big uh, chunky block of wood, just lift it gently on the bottom of the sump here, uh, or possibly actually, probably better on the on the uh, the rim of the gearbox. So if I lift it on the rim of the gearbox, they won't be uh, there won't be too many too many dramas with that, and uh, we should manage fine. Um, so yeah, what I'll do first is I'll uh, start cracking those bolts off. Okay then, let's uh, start by getting these off. They're not too tight. Purely for the purpose of interest, it is an E12 torque socket. Okay, and there's one, it's quite a long one, the uh, thread on that doesn't look too clever to be fair, so I think I might, uh, I think I have to clean that up, I think it's just stripped out a bit of the aluminium thread from the actual uh, mountain itself, so I'll clean that up before we reuse it. That one was a bit tighter. And this one's coming out a lot easier. There we go. That one came out really, really quickly and really, really easily. So that one's fine. So yeah, the other bolt needs cleaning up. And there we are, that's 
all the lower bolts removed. So now we've got to do is the uh, is the uh, the top ones, which are just nuts, and then we'll uh, look at supporting the engine, um, and then we'll uh, be able to lift it slightly so we can get the uh, the get the mountains out. Okay, then top side. This is the uh, obviously the left hand mount as you as you uh, sit in the car, but um, from the front of the car, obviously it's the right hand mount. But yeah, left hand mount. Um, as you can see, we, we've got pretty good access to this one because the the uh, right hand mount has the steering uh, steering column and exhaust system, turbos, and all that sort of good stuff on it. So that one's going to be a bit more difficult. Um, but that is the nut that we're going to be removing that I'm pointing at with my long screwdriver. We're going to be removing that nut there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a few uh, few 12 inch extensions together and uh, whip that off. Um, and then what will be happening is the engine uh, will just be sitting on that on the stud for the engine mount. Um, but it's not going to go anywhere because obviously it's quite it's quite hefty. It's not going to fall off. Don't worry about that. Um, we'll get that nut off and then do the same on the other side. And then we're going to be in a position to, to lift the engine ever so slightly just so that we can get the mounting out. So let me get a few uh, socket extensions stuck together and uh, we'll, we'll get it off. Okay, so as you can see, I've got uh, loads of... Um, extensions and it's a 16 mil nut so 16 mil socket on the end and I got a little breaker bar so what I'm going to do turn my torch off give it a good crack off it's quite tight and there we go eventually it went croaky it went with a pop so let's remove my extension uh, my uh, Break a bar, get a ratchet on it. Torch it on, and there we are. And there, and there is a nut. So we'll put that to one side because we will be needing that bit of rubbish. We'll, uh, yeah, I'll give that a clean up, we'll, but we will need that when we put the new one on. So, what I need to do now is the other side. Now, the other side is gonna be a bit more tricky, because as you can see, there's a bloody great uh, steering knuckle over the top of it. So, um, this is gonna be a bit more, uh, bit more of a challenge, uh, so. What I'll do, I think, is I think I'll need to use a universal joint to be able to get in there, but it's going to be it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So, bear with me. Okay then. So my uh, several different um, universal joints idea didn't really pay off because I couldn't get the torque on it. So what I've done is I've removed this little heat shield which sits over the steering uh, steering knuckle, and uh, it, it's just there to protect the uh, the knuckle from the from the uh, the back of the turbo effectively but hopefully you can see now I can actually see the nut whereas I had no uh, eyes on it before I'm showing the torch directly on it now and um, that's uh, that's the nut we're going for so hopefully now with one UJ I should be able to uh, get into that so let's uh, let's give it a go okay I am right on the nut now with uh, my sockets as you can uh, as you can see, we're, we're perfectly uh, planted on it. So what I'm going to do, get me uh, get me a little breaker bar out again and uh, crack it off. If it's anything like the other one, it'll be a bit of a feat. That one came a bit better. It didn't, didn't crack with a pop like the last one. So let's get this nut out. Off. Yep, off. Let me just grab it, and there we go. There's the other nut. So now there's nothing. Uh, there's no no longer any fasteners holding the engine mounts in into the uh, into the car. So all we need to do now is just take um, a little bit of uh, the weight off the engine, just lift it up ever so slightly, just to give us enough wiggle room to be able to get the mounts out. There's a little stud on the top, as you can see on the uh, on the new ones. Let's just grab a new one. So obviously we need to be able to get that out. Uh, it kind of sits in that kind of an orientation. 
Um, so we need to uh, we need to be able to get that out, but we sh we should have a bit of clearance underneath. So that's what we'll do next. I'll get the jack underneath, start lifting the uh, lifting the uh, engine up. Okay then. So the engine is lifted ever so slightly with a small chunk of wood, which is pushing up at the front of the sump. Um, I did try and lift it at the gearbox, but it was too far back to actually um, impart any motion on the engine. So I moved it forward out of necessity. Now, uh, as you can see. The, uh, the engine is lifted clear of the mountain, however, there's still not a great deal of room in here to be able to get it out. So what I might have to do is employ the use of a pry bar, which I've got right here, and hopefully get it, get it on the move. This is quite difficult, holding the camera on one hand and trying to pry, pry bar it out with the other. So, yeah, may have to lift it a tad more. Um, what I'll do, I'll uh, keep at it and I'll bring you in when I've got it out. Okay, I've got it out. Now that was not easy. What I had to basically do was, that's the position it's normally in. Before, in order to get this out, I had to twist it round on itself and then pull it out this way towards this gap. And it was a pain, a real, real pain. Now, in contrast, this is the other side. <laughs> and you can see how easy that came out. Now, obviously that side, there isn't all this junk like the steering arm and all that sort of thing. So now what I need to do is get the new one in. And on this side, it's probably going to be a pain to get in as well. So what I think I'll do is kind of go with the same basic principle that I used to get it out and maybe it'll go in but I'm not holding my breath if I'm being brutally honest so what I'll do I'll have a I'll have a wiggle around off the camera because uh, I can't do this and hold the camera at the same time and I'm gonna bring you back in once I've uh, once I've managed to get it in okay so there is the mount in position now I won't lie that was not an easy task. There was a hell of a lot of uh, wiggling around, a few choice swear words, um, and basically lifting and supporting the engine. But it's in position now. It is in the place where it needs to be. All I need to do is make sure the holes for the bolts line up and there's a little lug there and that's located. So what I'll do, I will do the other side because that will be really, really easy. Here it is. We saw how easy that one came out. So let's pop that one in place. Again, this isn't easy with only one hand. However, this one did come out a damn sight easier than the other, than the other side. So I shouldn't imagine it'll be too difficult. Oops, dropped it. Come on, again. There we go. Right, so that's in. Let's just make sure that everything's lined up the way it's supposed to and that it's, we've got it the right way around which we haven't let's turn it about I just need to twist it around to the way the one at the top has dropped out again I'm struggling to hold the camera and film this. Actually, I did have it the right way. I've been in my pit. There we go. And that's that one in. And it's located at the top. 
so all we need to do now is get a couple of bolts in get the bolts in at the bottom get the bolts in at the bottom get them started we don't need to tighten them all the way down just yet but we'll get them started and then uh, we know we're in the right place and uh, then we'll lower the engine down and then we'll get the nuts on the top so let me get these bolts in and I'll bring you back okay then so that's the bolts in as you can see the mounting arm is still not lowered onto the mount bolts in that side and again the arm is not lowered onto the mount so what we're going to do now is lower the jack down lower the jack down and then that'll bring them down onto the mount and we can get the nuts in on the top, top. and there we are so that's the uh, the engine now lowered lowered down onto its mounts they're tight to the cross beam all i need to do is go up top and uh, pop the nuts on and that is the job done all i'll have to do then is put the under tray on but uh Obviously, you don't need to see me do that. Um, hopefully, uh, this shouldn't uh, take too much longer. It's literally just two more nuts and uh, and we're done. Okay, the nut is on the mount. Let's get the uh, tool on. There we go. Get it tightened up. Torch down, I'll get it good and tight. Ah, there we go. There will be a torque setting for it in the manual, but I'm just doing it FT. Okay, and the other side. And this one's a little bit more tricky. So what I'll need to do is get the nut on. And get the nut on the mount which again is all done by feel because I can't get my face in there to see. And obviously there's a chance of dropping the nut. I think I've got it, yep, I've got it on. Okay, and the same again. Get the tool on, which it is. The tool is on. Tighten it down. And again. FT. Okay. The only thing remaining for me to do is put the shield back on over the steering knuckle. But I won't bore you with that. Right. That is the job done. Now, it was a bit epic. This side in particular. Passenger side easy it, it pretty much fell out but yeah this side was uh was not easy at all there's a lot of wiggling a lot of tweaking a lot of swearing um and eventually you'll get it out uh, and obviously putting the new one in is just as difficult um you know there are other ways of doing it you could drop the cross member out and everything but uh, you know that would have taken longer than me swearing and stressing with it but i got there in the end um okay so anyway hope you enjoyed the video um please leave a comment like dislike if you didn't like it um and uh, don't forget to subscribe and i'll uh see you all again for the next one thank you very much bye bye now